everybody! Welcome to LA Spectacular with Norma B. I'm your host, Norma Bocol, and I am so excited because we have a young actor that is making waves in Hollywood, and I want to welcome, welcome him with a big, big, big hug. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, That was a pleasure. J ladies and gentlemen, this is Johnny Ortiz. Hey, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And just, you know, nice seeing you again. It's been a while. So I know. It's always a pleasure seeing you all the time. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, uh, uh, you know, taking our invitation. If you guys Google him, you guys are going to amaze just because he's young, but he has done a ton of work with huge actors, A-listers here in Hollywood. And so it's a pleasure and it's a uh, honor for us to have him here as a guest. Can you tell us a little bit about your upbringing? Where you're from, you know, yeah. you know, all that stuff? So uh, I grew up in Highland Park. Yay, uh, shout out to Highland Park. Know, shout out to Highland Park. <laughs> um, born and raised there, you know, I grew up with a family of five. Okay. Mom, dad, brother, <laughs> sister. Um, growing up, you know, I'm, it's kind of been out there. I, I never thought I'll be acting for a living because that's what I do now. Uh -huh. um, you know, I saw myself dead in the woods during prison growing up and because you know like my family were you know we weren't always come from, come from money and wealth mm -hmm. and some of my family were always some involved in gangs so i saw myself kind of following their, their footsteps you yeah. know and it's until one day this career day came by and i met this life coach who's like my dad my second dad mm -hmm. uh edward padilla and edward padilla he's the city council he was the former city council for Bow heights at the okay. time and he's also the president Casa Cero No Cero Uno, oh, okay. Where, which is uh, Josefina, yeah, Josefina Lopez. Lopez yeah. So um, he started giving me free acting classes every Saturday, and I started taking them, you know, and I started taking them. Now, and, how'd you meet him? Well, it was a career day. I mean, this high school that I was oh, going okay. to, that they offered career day, and he happened to come. Uh -huh. And just, I vibed with his class, and he told me, you know, you should come to our nonprofit. Yeah. We have free classes, and we mm -hmm. offer free classes. So I ended up going, and... After like two years of like studying with him, uh -huh. I knew he was a working actor as well. Mm -hmm. So I told him, can I, you know, can you help me get an agent? Yeah. He helped me get an agent and my first thing was Southland, the cop show. And oh, was wow. pretty cool, you know? That's a big thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, that, it was, for being the first the time. The first thing, yeah. you know, it was, it was pretty cool. I wasn't SAG at the time, so that means the studio had to pay an extra fee mm -hmm. for me to be in it. So I was pretty cool and learning the what SAG was, and if you guys don't know what SAG is, Screen Actors Guild, what uh, actors, the union we mm -hmm. rep. And um, it was something amazing, you know, I never thought I'd be acting. And then I did a movie with Danny Trejo. <laughs> uh, I played the lead on it. I, it seems like Danny Trejo yeah. is like, a, you know, like the godfather of everybody yeah, that yeah. is coming to our yeah. show. <laughs> I, I just love him, you know, like he's been a veteran, you know, he's yeah. a big mentor to me. Not only him, Emilio Rivera, Isai Morales. Oh, I love Emilio Rivera, know, Rivera, yeah. They've all been, you know, veterans in the game. Mm -hmm. And I just appreciate their wisdom, having their friendships, and all this, you know, with all this roller coaster that I've been having mm -hmm. with the... Uh, I landed a Disney movie, too, called McFarlane USA, that came out in 2015. Yeah. With Kevin Costner. I mean, I've, I've done... So, I can okay, name so it, you know? talk, talk, to, talk to us a little bit about that, because that's a huge role for you. Oh yeah, it was. That, when I saw you, well, not, not only you, because I know Hector Duran mm. also, and I saw you and I was just like, yes! I'm like so excited because, you know, it's like, yes, you know, we're here in Hollywood and it's such a small world, just like a circle, right? Yeah. And then you start seeing the same people on, uh, like on, on the mixers, too. on TV or the, uh, the movies. Mm. But when I saw you on uh, McFarlane, I was just like, so proud of you. I was just mm. like, like a, I don't know. You know, because I know you for so long, and then the movie came out, and I was just like, "Good for you!" I was so mm -hmm. happy for you. It was, it's, it's fabulous. I can't, can't. I thank God for everything that's mm -hmm. happened in my life, and you know, I just can't complain. I told you, it's, it's been a blessing in mm -hmm. my life. I mean, there's so much things I can talk about, but I'd rather you tell me what you want me to talk <laughs> about. Cause, no, yeah. well, here's the thing. This show is for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to showcase you. Mm -hmm. We want you to tell us everything. We want you to to talk to your fans, you know, because mm. I know you have a big following, you know, out there. Mm. And and a lot of times, 
sometimes they don't know what to do. You know, like you said, you were in, in a bad situation, but mm. from there something really good happened. Mm. That that's where you brought you here. Mm. You know, so I think it's just it's it's just wonderful that you know your experience and for other kids out there, you know that that they see each other, that they see or they don't see each other on TV or the movies, but they see you and they're like, wait, I can do that too, you know? Yeah, of you course. Know, I so. Anything is possible, I tell people. You know, I always start, I take these quotes from, I like, you know, reading a lot of quotes and mm -hmm. one of the quotes I always tell people, but if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you at all. Mm -hmm. And it's not how you start in life, it's how you finish it, you know? And that's important because, you know, growing up from the Latino community, we don't come from having a lot of um, resources, you know, yeah. uh, from music classes to acting classes. Uh, and, you know, I was told when I was young sometimes that, you know, I wasn't acting, I should get myself a job, I should go to college because acting wasn't going to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it's, we have to break that cycle and kind of just be supportive towards our kids, our family, you know, because there, there, there could be some old, not saying everybody, but there's some old school parents that are like, you know, you tennis get that all hot, you have this <laughs> and, and all this. And, but at the same time, you, you know, I, I feel that the new generation is starting to understand that when we start having kids, yeah. we want to promote them with, you know, doing everything they can. They can play golf, you know. Yeah, they can, totally. You know, they can yeah. do anything they want. Yeah. Um, I Why think not? also, you know, because our parents, you know, sometimes they were so busy with work mm -hmm. that they're like, they don't, they didn't really have enough time. Well, you know, I grew up in Mexico, so mm -hmm. it's different. But, you know, here in the United States, when I was, uh, when my son was growing up, growing up, you know, I'm a, I was working most of the time, mm -hmm. you know, because I was, I was, a, I wasn't a single parent, of but, course. you know, um, my ex-husband was on the picture, but at the same time, you know, my son was with me most of the time. Of course. And so, you know, and, and at that time, I think he didn't understand why I wasn't there. And now he gets it, but now he's older, you know, mm. and it's like what you're saying. And so are you still in touch with Kevin Costner? Yeah, I, 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 we go to every Christmas, every uh, Christmas he throws artificial snow in his backyard. He lives in Santa Barbara mm -hmm. and we just invite the community, mm -hmm. Santa Barbara kids, just to go Oh, that's so, cool. so we go and enjoy sometimes the cast yeah. in there. So what about the cast from uh, Mark? Uh, the Do cast, still? I still talk to him. I talk to Hector. I talk to Carlos Pratt. You know, that is so funny, yeah. though, because, you know, besides the, the entertainment, mm. he, you know, I do, I'm a real estate broker and he's a lender. Yeah, he's a loan <laughs> officer. So, yeah, so he's a loan yeah. officer. So we do some deals together. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. And actually, he was my lender because he spoke Spanish. Mm. You know, and a lot of lenders don't speak Spanish. Of so course. a lot of my, my clients, you know, don't speak English. Yeah, Hector Duran is uh, my co star from McCartney <laughs> and Say. And he's young. And, and I he's know. like, what, 24, 25, and he's already a loan officer. Yeah, you know, yeah. Closing he, deals, yeah. So. But then he started doing other, you know, another. Yeah, he's, he, he's doing he, a show called Space Force. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He was on that, and then he's, he's still auditioning, he's doing work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad for him. So hopefully he'll come into the show, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I tell you, it's fun. It's amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. And then you did another movie with another big star. Well, I did. Um, well, let's see. Most let, of the movies that you've been doing are with big see, stars. We start one. Let's see. I did Bel Canto. Bel Canto yeah. was with Julian Moore, Ken Watanabe. If you guys mm -hmm. have a chance to watch it, please. Uh, it's on stars. It, it's on a bunch of uh, streaming platforms. Uh -huh. I also have uh, American Crime. Oh, yeah, I love that, that one uh, with Richard. Yeah, Richard Cabral. Yeah, um, and what was your that? Felicity Huffman, Timothy Hutton, Regina King, in 2015. Benito, Benito Martinez, Benito Martinez, which is a great, fabulous OG actor as well. Yeah, he was um, a great dad. <laughs> yeah, that was an intense show. I think that was the beginnings of my career. You know, that was the beginnings of learning the whole industry, yeah. the whole surrealness mm -hmm. of it. You know, the after work, you have to do the press. Yeah. You have to do all that that involves not just the acting, but the whole behind the scenes yeah. stuff. So that was interesting. And then I went to the Emmys. I got 10 Emmy nominations, so I got to experience that. Yay, uh, that was awesome. It was, it was surreal. I'm telling you, a person coming from the hood, seeing himself dead in the wheelchair in prison, being able to change his life and really do what I want to do and yeah. love what I want to do, uh, I, I can't ask for more, you know. And mm -hmm. um, after that, I mean, I kept going. You know, I did a movie called Icebox that mm -hmm. came out on HBO. The producers, uh, the, the guy that did The Simpsons. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, working with all these people and blessed and 
you know, not only that, but also hearing all these, uh, you know, veterans uh, allowing me to be in their work. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed, you know, because sometimes I'll be like, damn, like I'm working with all these actors, like A-list, 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 A-list. Yeah, exactly. like, what am I doing here? <laughs> You know, and it, it, it is not just like, you know, supporting roles, it's also lead roles. Mm -hmm. Also, I have like three movies that I'm the lead role to. That uh, you're working on right now? Right now, I have three projects that are doing, I also, that I can't talk about, that I did NDAs, mm -hmm. but I can talk about um, producing I know. my. I'm Your producing, manager yeah. told me, don't ask about what he's. <laughs> but I can, I, I can talk about what I, I'm producing yes. my first short film. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, awesome. it's called Mortal Home. Uh, and it, it, the investor wanted to. Um, invest in the future, but uh -huh. I told him I want to first try it out as a, because I'm coming as a producer. Um, executive so, producer? Executive or? producer. Wow. And I'm also the lead on it. So, like, you know, like, and not only that, but creating opportunities yeah. for people too, you know, that's what I'm about. Did, did you do something with tacos? Oh, so I started, I, you know, I've had, I had a lot of business <laughs> ventures. Okay. And like, I, I started a clothing store when I was 17. That's awesome. Uh, it, they failed. No, but that's okay because you know what? Yeah. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah, but you know, they say you only stop, you only fail when you stop trying. Mm -hmm. So I kept going and I opened up a restaurant yeah. that was actually owned by uh, 30 years in business. Uh, and So it's still open? No, it's, it's closed it's already. Closed. My mom passed away last year. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, so I had to just move on because balancing all the acting and everything it's it's too much work having to go get the camarones but you have to go <laughs> learn some lines you know like it's too much so uh, yeah. i did that so i started the limo company and i think that's been going so far good because you know i don't have to be there yeah I'm it's kind of like a cell it just the driver work. just yeah, yeah, yeah they book it the driver goes i pay mm -hmm. the driver and make how my, did you come up with that idea that's you know really one day idea. i was just like you know what well, like I have this money, like, you know, I'm try something new, but I'm like, how do I make money without putting so much yeah. effort in myself? So I'm just like, I started buying cars and selling them, but I will notice that I'll sell them in a day or two days. Sometimes I was yeah. good of a salesman. <laughs> I don't know, I was just a good salesman. Okay. So I started selling them. So I'm like, you know what, let me get some limos, get some drivers, put them to work, book it, advertise it, and start making, collecting money. So I'm like, why not? And it, and it just started flowing. Like, you know, it's interesting because when I bought it, yeah. the limo had some, uh, the limos had some upgrades to do on certain mm -hmm. things. So I wasn't really putting emphasis on it so much when I bought them. So I was just like, you know, what should I do? And I just felt a little bit, you know, when you buy something, you just give kind of like, I'm not going to do it no more. And then somebody came knocking at my door and said, hey, we want to use your limo for film production. Oh, cool. And that just like bust me up and said, you know what, let me start. So that's kind of like yeah. your main source, the, yeah. the film No, no, well, I make residuals. I mean, I have over 21 credits. Uh, that's awesome. You know. Okay, tell us a little bit of what, what a residual is, because a lot of people don't know what residuals, that is. Residuals, residuals is when you do a movie <laughs> or TV show, especially when it's like this a studio. This is money. <laughs> Studio-wise, like, you know, just income that you can pass to your kids and kids and kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it just goes on. I mean, the more films you do, the more residuals you get. And it's just money that you're basically we're just making right now. Just I know, yeah, to yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it, it's cool, you know. It, it, I can't complain. I, I tell you once again, I thank God for everything. Yeah. Uh, everything has happened because of my manager, my you know, my whole team, my agent, my publicist, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my friends, like like yourself. So I'm just blessed, you know. I, I can't yeah. complain. No, well, I really appreciate you coming in, mm. you know, here because. Like I was, I was telling everybody, it's like, you know, sometimes we just, we think about, okay, we want to do this, but then life gets in the way and then you kind of forget about it. And then you kind of like, okay, wait, I need to stay in this lane. Don't, for, you know, don't go here, don't go there, you know? And, and I think that's where, it, where I was before, you know? And then, you know, a pandemic happened and it kind of stopped everybody. You know, so then I was just like, okay, what is it that I really want to do, you know? And what I want to do is like, you know, showcase talent like you so other people can see us and say, hey, you know what? We can do this, you know? Because, I mean, you know, living here in L.A., I mean, we're like, what, 70% of mm -hmm. the people here, yeah. you know? So it's like, you know? And it just amazes me, you know? Like, it amazes me what, you're, what we all do as Latinos, mm -hmm. you know, like the effort we put into it. 
I'm I'm proud of you as well as as oh, I told you. So you. keep going, you know, and I just love it. I mean, I can't complain. I can go on and go on <laughs> and, and talk about it. No, but you know what? I mean, I think now it's kind of like we're getting together instead of you know talking bad about each other. You know, it's like no don't do that you know it's like yeah. let's lift up ourselves yeah. and you know and work together exactly you know, you know, the egotistic to the side and um yeah because you know I, I think at the beginning when i first started in the business i mean there were so many negative people like you said and i was just like wow do i really want to be on this business you mm -hmm. know it's like mm -hmm. maybe not but then you know it's just kind of changed my whole life and it's like that negative people is like go away not go away but i went away <laughs> yeah, you know course. and then i just started focusing on what i wanted to do and you know so it you know it just changed yeah you know? when you focus on yourself and i feel like a lot mm -hmm. a lot of self-wisdom comes out yeah randomly right <laughs> <laughs> so what do you tell the you know i mean i know we we're getting a lot of a of lot course. of good good um response with the show so what do you tell the young kids you know uh, um, that wants to start in this business? I think, you know, always focus on your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I, that I feel, um, not saying that my career, um, like I'm, I'm doing great, but it's just like, you know, it's always, you want to be 100% on everything. And me starting my career, you know, being an actor, you know, it's, it's important to be fit. It's important to memorize your lines, all that stuff. It's important and sometimes when we start getting you know, work and, and start feeling like we don't have to work no more. Uh, you know, like for me, for example, you know, I started not caring about my weight. Uh, I you was look eating, great. No, I do, but I was eating a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, like two or three years ago, I was eating a lot and and not memorizing my lines very well. So me saying that to you guys, it tells you guys experience that it don't half-ass stuff, you know, like always do full percent. 100% uh, on everything you do. That's what I experience as a person because, you know, I know I lost a lot of opportunities because of not being able to focus on my craft because I'd rather party than, uh, than work. Mm -hmm. But that goes to like, you know, the party's gonna be there, the, you know, the money, the, 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 the love, but that, that's not the most important part. I mean, that's not what people want, but I mean, some people, I get it, like they wanna, get fame, they want to get money, but don't look at it in that way because uh, at the end of the day, it's, it, 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 this lifestyle is a responsibility. And, you know, I choose to promote my community and the well-being and, and a good culture. So it's up to you what you want to do. Don't let no one tell you you can't. And at the end of the day, you're the one who has the power, so it's in your mind. So just keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you guys hear this from, I mean, even though he's young, I mean, he's very experienced because, you know, with all the work that he has done and with all these A-lister uh, here in Hollywood and, you know, just coming from you, I think it's just, it's just so refreshing, you know, because sometimes, like you said, we kind of get lost in our own world with, you can, you know, we can say drugs, you know, alcohol and sex, you know, and all that stuff. And then, but then that goes away and then it's just you, you, yourself mm -hmm. and you, you know, so what are you going to do? Yep. You know? Take care of your mind, mm -hmm. you know, your mental status, because there's a lot of things that happen, you know. But, um, <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about, or something about that, that kind of change your perspective or your mind on when, you know, when, like you said, you know, you were like kind of letting yourself go and then you just you know, kind of like say, wait. Uh, I think it has to do a lot with, um, you know, I, I like to, I like to read books a lot. I started reading books about like the mind, mm -hmm. you know, studying the brain. Cause I think when you start learning how the brain works, mm -hmm. you kind of start learning not to judge people. You know, like, because you, 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 you understand that the brain itself has functions in their, in, in, that are... I know, it's like your left brain, ha yeah. no, like your like, left well, brain has one. Well, I mean, well, well, you, it's like getting technical, you got the cortex, you know, where there, yeah. a lot of thinking happens. They yeah. literally say this is where the thinking uh -huh. happens. It's like that third eye? Yeah, well, the decision happens right here. So okay. That's why you say your, your forehead's always heavy. But me, this is something that I actually did was study the brain 
Like I actually got a therapist just to study the brain because I wanted really to know why we feel certain ways, why, you know, as an actor as well, but also as for personal use, you know? Mm -hmm. And after I understood the brain, which I, I, I tell everybody to go study how the brain works. Um, That's pretty interesting. You start realizing, you know, oh, this person is mad because, you know, it's a trigger reaction. Like, and some people can handle it better, some people can't. And some people need better coping, some people mm -hmm. need di different practices. So you start understanding and you just feel like, I can't judge this person, you know. A person might be going through a bad day and something, you know, lost their mom and they're at work and they're feeling bad and you're coming to go get something to eat, you know, and he's giving you attitude. I say the best way is re give back kindness because people don't expect that, you know. Mm. People expect a reaction, people re expect a, a conflict. Mm -hmm. And when you give them love, like something, it's like, it's like that Rosa Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <"Ooh." laughs> that's so awesome so um what are you doing now that makes you happy you know you know i, I haven't i've been acting since i told you since i was 14 yeah. so i've been almost well like eight nine years in the industry right acting movies set mm -hmm. to movies non -stop. Set. so i really haven't uh, been able to enjoy my time for myself mm -hmm. so i can say this past six seven months like I've been just traveling, enjoying, you know, private time with private friends. Yeah. And, and, and really, I really enjoy this little break I had. Yeah. You know, because it, it was, for me, I needed it because I told you, I really never got to be a kid. You know, I started going to sets when I was young. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't, you know, 12 hours on shift, 16 hours, and I'll go home, wake up again at three mm -hmm. in the morning. It was, I mean, McFarlane was four months. Yeah. You know, American Crime was three months. Uh, you do another film, two months, three months, so you're just in different places. Mm -hmm. so I really never had time for myself. So now that I actually can say what I've been doing is, you know, really focusing more on my spiritual wise, mm -hmm. myself, but also um, coming back in the game as well, harder and as a producer. And um, That's so awesome. not only that, but um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I literally tell my manager, I want to take a six month break. like. Like I, I'm, I'm, and now it's been like, you know what? There's been a lot of work. People mm -hmm. have been calling me. So I just, I've been taking the work. And, well, we and really appreciate you having, the, you know, making the time to come and talk to yeah. us because for me, this is very important, you know, mm. because I want to, I want to showcase you. I want, I want mm. you, I want people to see you, you know, because they see you on, on camera, they see yeah. you on TV, they see you on movies, but they don't really know much about you, you know? Yeah. So, and a lot of times, you know, when, when that happens and then they hear you t talk and they're like, oh, wow, he's just a regular person like yeah, me, like me, course. you know, and, and who knows if you can change one like one person's life, one, one life's person, person, make one person's life smile uh -huh. and change. I think you did the job. Exactly. And yeah. That's all that counts. I mean, say there's a hundred kids in a, in, in a school, you know, you can't change all of them, but as long yeah. as you did one of them, you're doing your job. And that's as. As humans, that's the, mm -hmm. the best thing we I think that's the simple purpose we can have attached to us, just help out, you know, yeah, love, yeah. give, and you've been doing that, so thank you for <laughs> No, so we follow on social media, and I saw that you have a, 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 a someone very special at home. Oh, I have my, my little dog, Hope. <laughs> Talking about Hope? Yeah, yeah my, I bought a baby Rylar, oh. and she's been my little, um, everywhere I go, she goes. Yeah. She's better than me, too. <laughs> She eats ribeye steaks. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. know. I saw that yeah. the other day. She was like, you like sit. And she was like, okay, I guess yeah. I sit so I can have my treat. Yeah, I love my dog. I think I named her Hope because hope means trust. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, hope was very uh, 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 like an emotional service for me because you know, when I lost my mom, mm -hmm. um, hope was that kind of like, a, like that person like, hey. And, and now she'll, how'd you, how'd she'll you? look at you and she'll be like, come over to you. And she'll lick you like, stop being sad. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you find her? Uh, I bought her. I bought her mm -hmm. through, uh, through a thing. It was through online website. Mm -hmm. Google brought Ryder. Is that your Ryder. favorite dog? Uh, yeah, Ryder? I had another one. Uh -huh. I had another one, but I, I, that one got lost. So I bought oh. this one. The first one was named Treasure. Hopefully someone finds Treasure because... <laughs> She's been out there, and I went to every pound, and they couldn't find her. Oh, wow. So, but Hope, she's four, four or five months. Yeah. And she's a cutie. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. She's uh, my heart. And, like, she, she shits. She, you know, she still shits, 
I mean, poops. She still poops. <laughs> She's not party trained mm -hmm. yet. She, so, so I have her in the day being the front mm -hmm. in the house. I have a big front yard. Yeah. And then at night she comes and she sleeps next to me. Mm -hmm. Like I let her in because she's still young and I don't yeah. want her. You know, because people like see a dog or something like that that's still young. And they yeah, yeah. Grab it. So. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, it's been just, such a pleasure having you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if there's a, I tell you, there's so many things I can talk about. So. I just follow my life on Instagram, Mr. Johnny Ortiz. Uh, you'll see all the amazing stuff I do. I mean, I, one thing I don't talk about, but I, I love to help out uh, my community. So I'm mm -hmm. part of four nonprofits that I help out. I'm an ambassador. Mm -hmm. One of them is Family Unida, that deals with people with multiple sclerosis and disabilities. I tell you, every year they have wheelchair washes, so if you guys can donate your hands and time, oh, wow. we come and we clean people's How do wheelchairs. people find that? Uh, Familia Unida, it's uh, actually on Instagram, also you go familiaunida.org. Oh, okay. um, it's an organization that's, you know, backed up by um, city councils, Congresswoman Judy Chu. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just, just the mission itself, you know, seeing people that have disabilities and, you know, like, they don't, the life, how they live is very like, you know, they feel sometimes, you know, that they're voiceless. Oh, you know? yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I, it makes me happy being able to dance with them, yeah. you know, sing with them and, uh -huh. and seeing them happy. And I go every year because every year, you know, they're like, Johnny, Johnny's back, Johnny's <laughs> back, Johnny's back. That's and, so awesome. And that makes me happy, you know, that's what I live for, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. I also, part of uh, Unusual Suspects that, deals with uh, kids in uh, juvenile facilities, and we go talk to our rest of the kids, oh, wow. and we go inside juvenile facilities, and we do workshops with them too. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, you know, um, Tiffany Hadish, uh, Rachel Goldman from Crazy Ex-Girlfriends, mm -hmm. they're all um, part of it, Wanda, Wanda Sykes. So oh, wow. um, people like them are, you know, we have, we have meetings and stuff like that to try to, you know, help out the juvenile mm -hmm. system as well. So that's another one, and the one is Casa 0101, mm -hmm. which is the nonprofit that basically. Yeah. Uh, which is when there, not too long ago, yeah. uh, we went to see uh, Chicanas, Cholas, Cholas and Chismas. Chismas. Yeah. Did you go see it? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. yeah we went. I, oh, I grew up in theater, so. Oh, wow. In Casa. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're yeah. talking about Chicanas, Cholas mm -hmm. and Chismas. I know them very well, yeah. Claudia. Yeah. You know them. Um, I'm just proud, you know, I'm proud mm -hmm. of seeing my whole everybody girl, and, you know, Every year I see more people growing and growing in the Latino community, so it makes me happy. You yeah, know? yeah, me too, me too. And you know, the more I'm involved in this type of uh, uh, environment, the more I'm like aware of what is happening. And so that's why it's like, wow, let's put our voices out there, you know, so we can help other people, you know? Yeah, Yeah, course. so what else have you done? I, well, I did a music video with uh, Juanes. Uh, no, called, he's one of my favorites. It's Juntos. Yeah. Uh, the song, it's actually based on McFarlane too. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you watch the music video, it, it's, it's, it's where, a beautiful Where song. can they find it? On YouTube. On okay, Google. just Juanes? Yeah, uh, Juanes, just Juntos. Uh -huh. I did John Legend. Uh, their, oh, uh, wow. Uh, this song called Surefire. I, he, I was blessed to play the lead actor for his song. Uh -huh. So um, He's that, so talented. Oh, I love his music. Yeah, I know. Um, Everything he does, you know, and you know what he stands yeah, for. I, I yeah. just believe in him so much. So I was just good to see. In 2016, I believe it won the uh, MTV Award for Best Fight Against the System. Because uh -huh. if you notice, everything I do, it's it has a, like my work. I I love to do stuff that's real reality. Mm -hmm. You know, that mirrors something that's yourself in mm -hmm. some way. You know, and that everybody can relate. So. That's what I live for. I, yeah. don't, I don't like playing the stereotypical role, the gangster. Mm -hmm. I don't know that if you look at my work. I, you know, I think I've seen you only on one. Just one, which was Peppermint. Yeah, that was uh, going to say with Jennifer Garner. With Jennifer Garner, yeah. Uh, but that's probably the last and, and first, because, you know, I tell you, I've tried so many diverse roles. And, yeah. And I think uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, like I wanted to work with uh, Jennifer Garner. And other, but I tell you, that's not something I like to promote. So, yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, if you look at my work, it's been a thing. Now, there was another movie that you were in uh, that was, you know, like it was a, a big box office um, movie. What was it? Bre yeah. Breaking Bad? Oh, El Camino. Oh, El Camino uh, so I, with I, Breaking Bad. Yeah, uh, so I did a, a cameo with uh, with uh, Aaron Paul and Brian, Gre 
Cra Brian Craigston, uh -huh. or Cra uh, pronounce his name, nasty name, sorry. <laughs> uh, but uh, Heisenberg, you know, you know Heisenberg. Yeah, yeah Heisenberg, yeah. Uh, but um, it was interesting because, you know, when I, when, I got, when I got the call that I was going to film Breaking Bad, I didn't know I was filming Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, really? You know, I didn't know I was filming Breaking Bad. It was like a continuation it, from it the... It was uh, a different name. Yeah. It was, it was called, uh, the name they actually, I can say now because it's done over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was called Greenberg. And that was the untitled name for mm -hmm. it. When I went to set, of course, you know, working in the industry, yeah, you know people that and work in like, different. And you're like, wait, wait so, a minute. So I told, I told somebody that I knew, and you know, it's a smaller world, so like, you know which one you're working in. And I'm like, no, and you're working in Breaking Bad. And I was just like, what? What? And then you know, they made me sign an NDA, of yeah. course, and mm -hmm. they say you're gonna be working with two, uh, two great actors. And it was interesting because you know, through the whole film, mm -hmm. you don't see Heisenberg. Uh, for the whole film, so everybody thinks that he's not gonna pop out, mm -hmm. and then I pop out in the scene, you know, with him yeah. as a cameo. But it, it was, it, it was for me. It's you know, um, I, I, it was a, I played a busboy in there. Yeah, it was something. But if you think about it, like it, it was the, like I tell my manager, you know, because as I started doing work as a lead role, you know, yeah. started doing lead roles, I tell my manager like, I don't, I don't want to play a busboy. I tell her, like, to be honest. <laughs> and she's like, you know what, but it's Vince Gilligan. Like, he's like one of the top is, uh, showrunners. You know, you gotta meet him and, and make connections. And I'm just like, you know what? Okay. All right, let's do it. And you know what? It, it, it's true what she says. You know, sometimes I can be naive. I'm like, nah, I'm a, but it, it, that relationship um, has established to something better, you know? And, and, and who knows that I can say that I know the producers of, of you know, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and mm -hmm. I talked to them, I texted them. Yeah. Uh, I actually know some of the cast members. Uh, Daniel Mokala, who's actually a, mm -hmm. a great uh, actor as well. He was at McFarlane as well. And he's, uh, I don't know if you've seen Breaking Bad, but the twin twin brothers, the Salamanca brothers. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and they're actually real brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, they are? Yeah. So. Oh, and, wow, and they're twins? Yeah, and they're twins. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, That's so, pretty cool. So, I didn't know that, but... um. Just I tell you. Well, yeah, because sometimes you see only one, and then you don't, you know, if you don't, if you don't know them, you're yeah. like, oh, okay, well, yeah. I guess, you know, it's just I think one. It's the same. <laughs> Confuse it, right? I know. Yeah, we, I, we have um, some uh, uh, twins in our family, and they're identical. Yeah. You see them together, and, and you can see, see the difference, but you see them separate, and you have no idea who they yeah. are. Yeah. No. Yeah, that'll be hard. Yeah. Still the only each thing that I can. Girlfriends or boyfriends. Oh, uh, the pro, the I don't know what they do, but the only thing that we can differentiate is one tooth. Oh, that's but it. The difference, you just look at the tooth. Yeah, that way. tooth is like, wait, who are you? <laughs> but like I said, you know, together you can see the difference, but separate, you're like, are you Marco or are you Carlos? Mm -hmm. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much for thank being you. with us, and I really appreciate you coming and sharing your life and you know all your experiences here in Hollywood. And I hope that somebody that is watching us out there that you know you can take your experience, the bad experience, that turn into a good experience, and now look where you are, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you're such an inspiration for a lot of people out there that maybe are lost right now. And you know, if if they can see that what you are doing right now, and like you said, you know, you just have to put your heart into it and go for it, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, before we go, do you want to say anything to your, I know I asked you that before, but you know, like something else that you want to tell your audience, you know, that, that, um, that, you know, to follow their dreams or what to do to do what you're doing. Mm. I guess, you know, I don't, I don't think it's rocket science, you know? I think uh, as youth, you know, I'm talking to the youth generation, mm -hmm. uh, we tend to want to, um, focus a lot in partying and, 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 you know, not really focusing on college or focusing in, in something that, you know, our parents always tell us, back colegio, you know, um, read books, you know, mm -hmm. everything that, that we don't, as youth, like to do. Um, I think it's important that you take consideration to that because, you know, I'm, uh, I'm 26 uh, with, you know, like in the most humble way with, I have, you know, I'm good financially, um, I have my house, I have great friends, and it all has to do with me being responsible, me putting efforts to that. And I always said, like, I want to be 26, like, before 26, and just be able to, like, I, I, I'm basically retired, like, I can do whatever mm -hmm. I want.
but that's not where I'm stopping. You know, I'm, I'm keep going, but it's a living example of that you can do it as well, but just try to put more priority on, 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 on the stuff that's gonna get you to where you get to, you know, because, you know, my dad and mom crossed the border and they came here to give me a better life for mm -hmm. myself and as many parents did. And, and we owe it to them, you know, and, and I see a bunch, you know, I, 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 sometimes I see youth and they're like, ah, mom, like, dad, why didn't you get me this? Why didn't you, you know, why didn't you buy me this? Or, and sometimes kids nowadays feel entitled and very much so you know um just know that uh learn quicker you know earlier than later because um, you know you don't want to be later and then be 30 35 and struggling and not knowing what to do it's rather it's better to put the time and effort and mm -hmm. then live like a boss you know later on so. yeah that's true that's yeah. true well thank you so much for watching and i really appreciate you being here and i hope that these it's not an interview, it's just a conversation that we're having and that somebody out there takes all the stuff that he's doing and make their life around. And so I hope that, that you can do that for somebody, you know? And so thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Norma Boko, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>